I think Imani's very self-aware as far as like, I don't want to be a mainstay pod. I don't want to replace anybody. He said that in the spaces too, where he's like, I know y'all appreciate me now, but maybe later down the line, you know, there might be moments where y'all ain't really fucking with me anymore either. And I think has more to offer to the conversation. And two, Ice does this thing where like, he always says like, I don't care what the audience has to offer. And then Flip will always say like, Flip will almost overestimate his value. Is Imani going to be replacing anybody on the JBP? Um, there's been a lot of speculation. Uh, if you don't know Imani, um, he has been, um, a frequent guest for the past, I would say maybe about three months or so, you know, start on, you know, a couple of Patreon episodes here and there. I knew something, I smelled something in there when I saw him on a pod episode. I said, Ooh, this is, this is getting scary. I don't know. There's a, somebody, you know, somebody's going to get replaced soon. Possibly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it, but hypothetically, how do you guys feel about that? Um, do you feel as though Imani is needed for the pod? Um, is there somebody that we can do without? Um, or hey, run a seven man pod, which m- mind you sounds crazy as hell, but hey, they're already run Bionic Six. They're known for the Bionic Six. What's so mad about going one step further? More dialogue, I say. This latest episode they have like um what Mac and the other girl on there. And I was like, I don't know how many people were on that fucking pod, but Imani and the other girl were sharing a mic and I was like, Joe's like, Y'all gotta shut the fuck up, y'all interrupting the fuck out of each other. Somebody gotta go. I can't I don't know if we're gonna do that many people on one pod. If I had to pick, you know, it's kinda cold, so Kind of cold, big ice. Kind of cold. Yeah, that was that was corny. That was my joke. Like, I liked it. <laughs> that was bad. Somebody, somebody <laughs> gotta be you, man. Just switch, switch yeah. listens. Oh, I somebody gotta be one of us. Oh, resume. How about that? I Tell think that. Danny Spears definitely like twofold. Like, I initially wasn't a fan of him when he was going at Danny from the stop. Shout out to the boy. Like, I didn't really like his little threat to the camera, trying to call him out. Like, come on, son. Like, that looks weird. You threatened the media guy or some shit, but. Now, overall, I think he navigates the combos really well. Like, he's kind of able to... He never dogpiles on Mel. That's pretty nice. He's able to kind of get in and get out where he can. Um, he does but, mansplain. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, like, they in a mansplain. sense, I think he does it. I think he articulates himself well. Like, he's well-researched, too. And I think the way he answered the pod maybe was where it kind of rubbed off wrong. But looking back at it, it's like he kind of said what a lot of, like, fans, maybe even on Reddit and Twitter and shit were thinking. Mm. Like, he called out Ice for, like, not being too honest or like not really expounding upon takes or being like you know what never mind like that whole thing that ice does and Mm. same with ish where he's like you know ish and flip actually he was kind of saying like you guys do a lot of complaining for people that get compensated well and only work two days a week like that was kind of a you know heavy entrance right there i thought that was good on him though like he made a good argument and everything about it but me personally i like him i think he's really good I think, yeah, the mainstay pod could be, like, Ish, Joe, and Melissa Ford, and then, of course, Imani, or Imani, however you say it. <laughs> First and foremost, name it Joe. Name it Joe's second on his podcast was crazy as hell, by the way. <laughs> oh, Joe, 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 Joe is still the most entertaining, period. Like, that's undeniable. I think Flip, they should definitely save him for Patreon. Same with Ice, too, because I don't think Ice is terrible, but... I think at least Imani is willing to like share life stories and share experiences. He's kind of made music with Joe, been on the been on tour with him. Like he kind of share more, like is willing to offer more to the pot. I think um, than Ice is personally. No shot at Ice personally either. As you still shot. Um, well, first things first. I mean, so you don't feel or get a good chuckle when you know because Ice does come through with the one. He's you know I I put him in the parks realm with the one liners. You know with the you know, coming through with you can't <laughs> you can't say that, you know, sometimes I mean I'm just saying, like I said, there's some moments where, you know, Joe or it mainly ish get out of line, you know, Newark boy stand up and then you know, he's just like, Yo, hey, yo, you can't do that, bro. You can't say that. Like sometimes you need those the, it's yeah, it, is it like a lot of dialogue? No, but it's the salt bay thing, you know, just a so, little, uh, so I don't uh, need it then. Yeah. Um, I didn't say that because, so, hey, as we all know, so salt is essential to cook. Ice, don't you? Don't you? Oh shit! Are you calling me ice? <laughs> oh, oh shit! I, 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 I my, oh, oh shit! I was uh, gonna say it. seriously. Uh, I'm a founder. Addition to the dish, but I wouldn't say that to you, bro. Sorry, <laughs> but he wouldn't call um, you ice. That's what he said. I wouldn't call you ice. I mean, me personally, um, I I like Imani or Imani or however the fuck he pronounced it because he himself said Imani the other day. I have no idea. 
Um, he's really good on the pod. Um, very versatile. Um, like he's able to, like you said, he's able to speak to the women topics. Um, he's able to speak to, um, somehow he's able to keep up with Ish and Dr. Umar. It was crazy. Yeah, really well. That was first. Yeah, that was, that was first and foremost, all right, you're the second one to name him speaking with the women topic. So we're, are we just not going to look over that Iman? Iman, he's like pandering on a lot of those things. I'm yeah. going to say, see, the yeah, thing oh, is, you he's not smirking because we know what's up. You call yourself a fan, but you don't watch the spaces. You don't listen to the spaces. I don't. Yeah, listen to the spaces. You would have actually got more insight to his personality and know that he actually likes to talk to women. That's who he hangs out with. Oh, so you a stan? My stan. Don't think about it, nigga. The answer is yes. I I didn't listen to the Patreon. I don't listen to every single Patreon. No, I I focus on them heavy, but at the end of the day, there's still a business opportunity that I'm trying to capitalize on. So, Uh Uh I see both lenses. But anyways, I think, I think oh, he's seeing, seeing, seeing both lenses is my bag, sir. You you have to shoot some lenses. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to choose. I'm the. End Wait. Of- so are we are we trying to go into like should Imani replace say Ice or F- Queen Flip? Because we know like the, there's a bunch of drama on Queen Flip in the past week. Or are we just saying like we want to just appreciate him for you know what he does? Um, we could do uh we do part one and we do uh part one a part. Uh, to be like I said, so no, do you no, like him? On the <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> but now, <laughs> if anybody me, so I mean, all right. So all right, let me just throw this out there real quick. So, do you like Imani on the pod? Let's get that straight. How's everybody feeling about? It? Is it solid vibes? Is it yeah? No, yeah, he's a he's a great ass addition. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now two, does he need to replace somebody? Yeah, right. I think I think the pod needs to. <laughs> I think it said that quick as hell. Yeah, I think no, I think I think Joe is like well aware of like how he creates narratives to create drama, and he knows that's kind of what like pushes out the pod to be talked about. But he also is conscious that like that is going to create some type of like work fatigue for everybody. I think he mm. kind of knows that like you know not every, like bro, no one's going to want to co- show up to work to debate every day. No one's going to, or not even, not even every day, even though it's two days a week, it's probably like they do their, it's they whole do job, their two days of recording and record their Patreons that same day. It can be a lot. And he said it on the mainstay pod. He's like, look, I want to give everyone a break. If you don't want to show up, you don't got to show up to every episode. So I think it is maybe time to like, I think Imani's very self-aware as far as like, I don't want to be a mainstay pod. I don't want to replace anybody. He said that in the spaces too, where he's like, I know y'all appreciate me now, but maybe later down the line you know there might be moments where y'all ain't really fucking with me anymore either and i get that i think that at least tells me that like he's very like um he's very audience facing yeah aware but and I, i'm not really trying to shit on ice but it's, it really is comes off as like imani i think has more to offer to the conversation and two ish i mean ice does this thing where like he always says like i don't care what the audience has to offer and then flip will always say like if flip will almost overestimate his value as far as like i bring xyz which he does he, he does bring value to the okay pod, I was about to you say. have to constantly say that like the boss joe and all them are gonna look at you and especially when someone like imani is shining it kind of shows where your weaknesses are like flip isn't going to be talking to the relationship topics Flip isn't going to really talk about music. Flip isn't really going to be able to debate or even uh, add to the convo with Dr. Umar and um, Joe called him out. Like, yo, you on your phone on the pod. Like, there's a lot of, like, realms where the other the other castmates won't shine, where Imani kind of, like, checks off on all boxes. My personal thing, not to be the fan boy or whatever of him, whatever. Oh, be a stan. Him, but I definitely appreciate him being the one pod member to kind of stick up for Melissa. Because it's kind of like... It's just unbearable sometimes to like listen to this shit. I almost feel like Joe does this thing where he knows the audience is going to hate him dogpiling on her, but he'll do it for the sake of being talked about or whatever you want to call it. I like that Imani kind of keeps it honest. I'm not going to lie you. There were some moments even in this like, um, this, what was that latest Patreon episode? When, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Weird, talk about it. Talk about it. Like, yeah. I want to defend you. And like, it was a little weird, but again, he's the only one that's kind of like, I think objective. Everyone else is like, whatever Joe says, we roll it. I don't even know if the objective is more like subjective because he said on the space is like he's like I don't agree with everything she says but I also know what good potting is and this is mm. good potting like mm. it's like it's the same shit that we talk about with our like complaints about Mel it's like she doesn't completely stand up for herself but when she does stand up for herself she's still not like ten toes down like super strong in her opinion just you know screaming at people you know what I'm saying she's like kind of reserved about it and she said recently 
she doesn't really like that about herself so hopefully and she's been doing really good lately so hopefully she continues on that path but iman is essentially like i said he's trying to he's looking at it as a fan and realizing okay this is where she needs some some help like it can't be five versus one like it's yeah. gonna look bad but if i step up here and i actually mansplain her take you know what i'm saying it'll get mm. through to these people a little bit better so i respect it <clears throat> needed and sorry no shot to ice no shot to ice as you keep not throwing shots ice. stop saying you're not throwing shots as you keep constantly throw shots we'll go I'm ahead stop fangirling for ice man we get it we know you're an ice fan you are fan you were saying like um imani checks all these boxes and you're just like uh saying like yo flip can't talk to this can't talk to that what can that man talk to then why not just I think get him out of a here dynamic character i think i think um joe admitted it at the i think in one of the spaces where he was like when i was just potting with ish and ice they know me as their friend they don't really know me as making content and flip is the one that introduced that whole live aspect of like what was it um improper F-O-E. improv oh, and things yeah. like that like he is a creative and to um flip at the start of the year like kind of added to the drama which kind of pushed the show out like i don't know if y'all remember but when ice and ish were on there really what i was skipping mad episodes personally I don't wow know, I, like, wasn't, I wasn't checking every episode there was like a couple where like surf or someone would be on them like, oh, hmm. like i liked some episodes but i wasn't checking for everything when um melissa ford and flip joined and flip was calling out people for like i'm getting paid this amount where he was willing to argue with joe he was willing to argue with ish and ice and like have these like big moments and shit I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but like being able to kind of create a conversation, I think is literally the content that um, Joe knows. He's just so you like the messiness that you, you yeah, did you all this too. articulate way of just saying, I like mess. That's all you can say. I mean, yeah, that's you, the joke. You, do. you pretend yeah. to act like, oh, you like mess. What do you think Joe Budden podcast is? You think it's yeah. some, you think this is, you think this is the, I, 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 geographic. Like, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the number it's one urban top. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> drama and half of their news is them selling the most recent thing that went viral from joe bun was him shitting on ari lennox what do you think they be selling up there it's literally mm. nothing but narratives in itself and, and it works i'm not complaining on it but let's not mm. call a spade a spade